Hi Aquarius, welcome to your almost daily love reading. This is Chelsea and I appreciate all of your love and support for subscribing to my channel. Also, I want to let you guys know that I'm making some changes in your readings uh, from now onwards because I was informed that another tarot channel has stolen my audio and used it for their videos. There are about 70 videos altogether, so if not more. But anyway, instead of um, only reading after pulling out all of the cards, I will start after each card is out that makes it harder for them to manipulate my audio because there'll be a lot of shuffling which they try to cut it cut off the shuffling part <laughs> but anyway um, also I want to add uh, at the end of your reading uh, I will pull out more cards for some love and money advice for you guys all right but anyway Aquarius um, as usual please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with each and every one of you time is an illusion in tarot so this reading could resonate with you in the past currently or in the future all right Aquarius let's get a reading started spirits and angels please show me important accurate love messages for Aquarius today Eight of Pentacles, this is an indication of working on something or you're focusing on work. Um, but let's see more. Two of Cups in reverse, this is an indication of a separation currently. Maybe somebody is thinking about working towards fixing this uh, relationship. But let's see more. Spirits, please show me more. Got the nine of pentacles here so Chris, perhaps this is your energy right now you just want to be independent or maybe this is your intention is to becoming independent and uh, single this is actually a single card but it's not single as in you know that you don't have a choice you're single by choice because i feel like a lot of you are focusing on your money right now on your career Possibly, you know, with the Two of Cups here in reverse, I feel like maybe you're putting that aside for now, okay? But Nine of Pentacles, when you got your stuff together, you're gonna, your options are going to be endless, right? But let's see more. Show me more spirit. Ooh, Nine of Wands here. This could be actually somebody from your past who is actually taking action or wanting to take action towards you to try and focus and work on this connection. I feel like this is somebody from your past whom you're in separation with, okay? Could be an Aries Sagittarius Leo. Please show me more spirit. So you've got the four cups right here. So I feel like a lot of you are feeling really dissatisfied when it comes to love or when it comes to this person in general, okay? Please show me more spirit. And we've got the Ten of uh, Swords here in reverse. Hmm. This for me indicates you slowly recovering from the ending or the separation that was very painful. Perhaps you were being betrayed in the past by this person. Okay, but that's why this person from the past wants to return. But I don't think you, maybe you will accept it, maybe you won't, but currently I feel like you're not that open in accepting it. You're just focusing on your work, on yourself, on your healing and recovery. Um, let's see at the bottom of the deck, I've got the tower here. So I feel like this is what had happened in the past. It was very, um, it was very shocking unexpected and the ending was painful and also unexpected or something that you could have found out the tower also could mean like after having a big you know huge fight and then you know both of you just ended for some of you it could be that but i feel like it has a lot to do with um some sort of betrayal here all right let's see a little bit more chris So Eight of Cups is right here. It looks like a lot of you are moving on from this connection. And with the King of Swords, it's actually your energy. And you're definitely embodying a more masculine energy right now. Whether you are a female or male, you are serious. You are serious as a heart attack, as in what you want, what you as in what you want or what you don't want. And you could have cut this person off. You your boundaries are up, you know, uh, your boundaries are made known. And your defenses are up and you just want to know the truth 
Mm, I feel like I I don't think I'm gonna I, I would even dare to mess with you. <laughs> the King of Swords here. I feel like a lot of you are okay again. Uh, previously, maybe you you were more uh, you were honing more towards the feminine energy, but now you're like you know now you're definitely embodying the masculine energy, whether you're a guy or a girl. But with the Ace of Cups in reverse, I feel like this has something to do with you rejecting love offers that are not genuine or sincere. I just don't think a lot of you are focusing on love right now. You could have a lot of options with the Seven of Cups here, right? But you just, I feel like with the King of Swords, maybe you're just focusing on your work on your career, on your money. This Nine of Pentacles is here, and you're not gonna settle for any anybody, just anybody. This person has to be very genuine, okay? They have to love you uh, as much as you love them, I feel. And with the Ace of Swords here in reverse, um, I'm sensing this could be somebody not speaking the truth or some things are not being made very clear. Um, also, for some reason, I feel like Aquarius, you could have cut this person off, but they're not cutting you off yet, okay? They may be figuring, figuring out ways to get to you. And with the Seven of Wands here in reverse, I feel like a lot of you are not working on this past connection. And Five Pentacles is here. Maybe you feel like you, this person could have been very burdensome, as in, you know, they, they drag you down uh, in terms of even even when it comes to money for some of you, okay? You know, I always say that all the time when it comes to a relationship, if you choose the wrong partner, you know, they're go they are gonna affect you um, in your career, in your money. So I feel like for some of you, maybe they could have affected your work or your money situation. But if it's not that Five uh, Pentacles indicate somebody feeling just really abandoned or being treated unfairly, or that this relationship seemed like such a huge struggle like it's so hard okay hermit's right here chris a lot of you are seeking from within and just trying to see you know trying to seek for answers and, and also i feel like you you have become much wiser as well after this experience with this past person and i feel like a lot of you want to be left alone right now and just want to focus on your work let's get you some advice Aquarius. I already shuffled this deck. Uh, Spirits and Angels, please give me some advice for Aquarius, please. Advice for Aquarius. I will take this one. <laughs> Again, King of Swords, you know? I told you, and you're doing the right thing. I feel like a lot of you are embodying the King of Swords. So Spirit's saying that, yeah, you're doing the right thing. If uh, you need to be alone for a while now, or that you need to focus on yourself, on your work, um, definitely you are on the right track. And you've got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Nine of... You've got Nine of Pentacles again. See, this is a confirmation, Aquarius. This is a completely different deck, right? So you are on the right track and you should be focusing on your work, on yourself. Self-love, self-care is very important right now. And um, you got to be, you know, very serious, especially with this person from your past. It could also indicate cut this person off, okay? And also it got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Again, you could have been investing uh, your time, your energy, some of you even money on this past person and don't don't give it to them anymore. This is this is definitely the advice for you guys. And um, yeah, be very serious, be very strict with this person. I feel like this is geared towards this uh, person from your past, okay? But overall energy also, I feel that, Chris, you are definitely on the right track because it does look like something is going to happen. Um, new love coming in. I feel like you're going to have a lot of options, all right? Uh, Chris, um, we're going to find out next, as I mentioned earlier on, um, any advice for your money, money situation. I feel like money is important. <laughs> All right, spirits and angels, any finance, money, career messages for Aquarius or advice, advice for Aquarius, please. Sorry, Aquarius, I'm still trying to get 
a hang of this new concept of reading, new style of reading. I find an advice. Show me more advice, money advice for Aquarius, please. Oh, okay. The Empress is here. Somebody is going to take, try and take advantage of you, Aquarius, because they see you as very abundant and that you have a lot of money. You got your stuff together. Look at the Seven of Swords here. Somebody might. Um, this is a tricky card. I feel like someone is going to go behind your back. Be, beware of scammers. Okay, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. If you're not careful enough, you might lose money. The Hierophant is in reverse, and it looks like you won't be able to do anything about it, okay? So be careful of somebody who may be cheating you. Uh, it could be anybody scamming you for your money, because Seven of Pentacles in reverse, you might lose money. And this person, also with the Hierophant reverse, has very low moral value. So, all right, Chris, this is your reading today. I hope uh, you liked it. I'm sorry, it's very, it's kind of different, right? But I hope you liked it. Um, I'll get a hang of it, I hope. Um, I just don't want people to steal my videos. Um, I mean, my voice. It's just crazy when I found out. Actually, oh, actually, one of you, Aquarius. Um, I'm not sure if I can mention your name unless you want to remain anonymous. But um, thank you so much for emailing me and let me know about this. Um, channel this channel I'm not even sure if I can mention the channel's name um, I just want to be extra careful because you never know with YouTube they always have their you know rules and regulations and all of that so tons of it so I just don't want to you know cross any line but anyway thank you so much for letting me know uh, taking the time and effort to write me an email after you have found out about the uh, you know about this person <laughs> stealing my audio oh my goodness and they even changed my voice to make it sound lower in key it's so funny but it's actually not funny <laughs> all right Chris, please take care i hope to see you tomorrow as i've been posting your videos almost every single day if you like this reading please hit like share and subscribe um if nothing else i hope to see you tomorrow as i've been posting your videos almost every single day lately take care Chris. bye